If you're gonna go on a multi-day ride, you're gonna come across a road like this. This road has a lot of consistent terrain challenges and a lot of variable terrain challenges. There are huge embedded boulders on this road. There are embedded rocks on this road. There are big loose rocks and there are small loose rocks on this road. I'm gonna teach you some ways to get up this hill with the embedded, immovable, and loose rocks. In my experience as an off-road instructor and tour guide, we have a lot of folks that come to us that are new to this or have only been riding for a short amount of time and haven't experienced a whole lot of terrain environments like this. So a lot of the riders in our group see a loose, rocky hill like this, and it ramps up some anxiety. They're not exactly sure what gear they should be in, how fast they should be going, or what line they should choose. If you rode up to this hill, it would be obvious where the easy line is. Very smooth, you're only dealing with a couple of looser embedded rocks. A newer rider with maybe a little anxiety, going up this in first or second is no problem. An advanced rider might go up in third or fourth gear. But let's forget about the smooth line. I'm gonna teach you some ways to get up this hill with the embedded, immovable, and loose rocks. So the difference between embedded and loose rock is basically what you can count on when you're gonna go up or down this thing. The techniques you're gonna use here are balance, body position, and momentum control. So this is an immovable object. This is a huge piece of granite embedded into the ground. It's not gonna move. I can count on an immovable object like this up or down the hill for traction instability. So this is also a slightly embedded object. Now, I'm not able to move this rock or dislodge it from its place, but it's moving around a little bit. If this were in my line, my front tire is gonna roll right over the top of it, most likely. However, if I hit the throttle at the right time, especially going uphill, my rear wheel could dislodge this rock and might affect the stability of the bike. You can't count on this to stay in place. This is a movable object. This is a movable object. If you hit this object going up or downhill with your front or rear wheel, the chances of the stability and control of the motorcycle getting out of hand are much higher. So when the smooth line goes away, you're gonna need to make a series of quick choices. Right here, we have an embedded, immovable, huge boulder with a step and some loose rocks on top. Over here, we have a bunch of loose rocks of varying different sizes. What I don't like about this is I could get multiple deflections to my front and rear wheel, and also my traction. It's harder to predict how well I'm gonna be able to go through here and continue to go up the hill the other thing is, when I get those deflections, and if I don't have as much traction, it's much harder to make another good line choice as I continue. So over here, we have an immovable embedded boulder. What it provides is stability and traction. The thing is, you've got to get to the top of it. What I like about it is it's an angled approach. It's not very high, so all I'm going to get is a predictable hit to the front end, and the back end's just going to come up. Once I get on the top, I've got a lot more traction. It's easier for me to continue on the line that I've chosen. The loose rocks that are right there, they're not that bad. I mean, you've got some varying sizes that'll cause a little deflection and maybe loose traction throw you off your line a little bit. Uh, but the reason why I chose the one big deflection with more stability and traction is because of the approach. I mean, we've got some big loose rock down here that are gonna cause quite a bit of deflection. You're also gonna lose some traction in this area. And right here, we've got some what looks like embedded rock, but they're much smaller. The challenge is they don't provide as much stability because of their size. It's easier for you to deflect your front wheel off of either of these rocks, completely change your line, now throwing you in a spot where you have less traction and causing the bike to lose momentum. So momentum control is the most important thing to getting up over the ledge and on top of traction and stability. If you go too fast, you're just going to blow it and you're not going to stay on your line. If you go too slow, you could stall right at the edge and have to restart. On a hill like this, you want your body position to be neutral. Vision changes here. There are times you're going to have to look at what's exactly in front of your front tire. 
In a section like this, with more traction and stability, maintain your momentum and pick your eyes up for the mess that you're about to get into. Let's pretend the smooth line behind me is not an option. In this section, it gets very challenging. Your line choices are tough. So this stuff in here may bounce you around a little bit, but the real downside to choosing this line is that big movable rock that you have to avoid. The problem with hitting a big movable rock like this, it will cause front wheel deflection and it could put you on your ass. So the advantages to this line is you've got a smooth approach with good traction and a stable, immovable rock. The challenges are as soon as you get here, you've got a narrow path. If you wanted to miss the boulder, you've got maybe this much room to miss it. That's kind of a challenging line to hit. If you hit the boulder, yeah, it's not gonna move, it's stable, but keeping it from def deflecting your front end is a little bit challenging since it's smaller and a bit more jagged. Also, this line in general does not set you up well to exit, go through here and get to the top of the hill. Even though this may look clean, this is an off axis notch. If your front tire hits either one of these jagged embedded rocks, you could lose momentum or get enough front wheel deflection that it tosses you off your bike. Even though this is a stable, immovable boulder, you want to avoid this obstacle. It doesn't have a flat front. It's jagged, angled, and pointy. There's a high probability of front wheel deflection here that could throw you off your line and even put you on the ground. Choosing the smooth line on a road like this is not always easy. Avoid the big movable objects. Aim for spots that have more traction and stability. It doesn't matter what level rider you are, the techniques you're gonna use here are balance, body position, and momentum control, momentum control, momentum control.